Nobody sees me. Nobody sees me. Okay, oh god. Oh god there. A lot of shit's going on. Hey, what's up dudes? Kublai Khan here. Welcome to Streets of Rogue. One of my favorite roguelikes, um, roguelites from packs that I saw and damn is it a lot of fun. It's got all these sweet builds and looks, as you can see, a lot more that are going to be coming pretty soon. And each one of them plays very differently when you're actually entering the game and it changes how you actually affect the world. Let me give you an example. Assassin. Welcome to Floor 1. Now, they just give you random goals and uh, behind me you can see a bunch of the alpha information. It's by Matt Dabrowski. Really nice guy. Met him at PAX. Was a lot of fun to talk to him because this game is sick. Also two player split screen. Now you can see that we're going to go chat with the doctor. We need to retrieve something from him. I don't know what it is, but that's just up and to the right. So we're going to just head that way now. Now it says retrieve item and I want to be able to go in and get that item. Typically if something needs to be retrieved, that means you either steal it or you got to kill the person to get to it. Now I'm going to enter. Nobody seems too upset about me. Hello everybody. Turns out the guy with the item just leaves. Well, that's really nice. Especially because one of our abilities is to turn invisible. And then when you're invisible, you have an increased kill amount. Huge backstab. Perfect. Alerted no one. And we return to the living. Now let's look for mission two. We got retrieve a map from the chest. Rewards what looks like headphones. Nice. Now what's kind of cool is, see this? You can actually teleport to certain items if you've already gotten close enough to discover them. I have not discovered this, so no teleportation yet for me. Also, that's a pretty sick gun that this guy has. Hold on, let's go ahead and get it. Turn invisible, walk around, and hiya! Nobody suspects a thing. Octodad! Uh, limited invisibility. Now you can see that what I'm using here is a syringe that I don't really know what it does, right? But I could. Oh god! Oh god! Jesus Christ! Why don't I? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> now sometimes people get pissed at you, and I'm not always sure why. But it is absolutely hilarious when it happens. So I just use a syringe that regenerates my health. I wanted to use it on somebody else because you can use it on other people. Man, these guys get pissed really quick. Anyway, this is an interesting situation because I can actually just go through this door by turning invisible, right? That's my ability. Oh god! They can see me when I open the doors! That's not good. Is this a library? Are you pissed at me for opening up that in the library? Huh. As you can see, I am performing some extremely powerful evasive maneuvers in order to escape the dangerous librarian. Who now can't see me for just long enough. Ha! Perfect. Which allows us to get a seriously good backstab on her. Which we can do even if we're using just a fist. Not as strong. Ah, damn, I missed! Shit, okay. Bad choice. Try this again. And disappear. <laughs> so the assassin has a lot of fun because you can do this in and out, in and out kind of capability. But uh, if I just walk through here... Now the door is locked. Ah! Ah! Oh god! Now let's just uh, show this librarian that I've learned more of things in books than you will ever learn. Yeah, that's right. I'm hitting her on her own turf. Perfect. Use key. Get in. And uh, we got another syringe. What's it do? Makes me weaker. That sucks. But what's good is I've now discovered what that syringe does. Also, you can see I have a little bit of money up in the top left corner. And that money is used to just buy ammunition, certain items, or gamble. Here, let's go for a gamble, shall we? Gambling time! Uh, I can't, I can't do 50 yet, so 20! Dang, I lost. 5, I won! 20, dang, I lost. 5, I won! 20, I'm low on cash. 5, I won! 5, I won! It's busted. Wait, do you always get, if I gamble five, will I, ooh, it's busted, it's busted. They're all busted now. Too much of a winner. The game's like, nah, can't do it any longer. You can see here that there's a safe right there and they're saying, hey, there's money in that safe. I don't know how our character knows there's money in that safe, but somehow they do. Now I'm going to get the slum dweller to uh, come out and help me with this. Hello everyone, you have wonderful guns. Um, nom, 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 nom. Nobody sees me. Nobody sees me. Nobody sees me. Woo! Okay! Oh god! Oh god there! A lot of shit's going on. Pistol. You ever see a ninja use a gun? Oh 
Now you can. Uh, ooh, and he's out of bullets. Ooh, he had a banana for us. Heal. Now I just picked up the safe combination and the key. This was a bank, apparently. We got 33 gold. So this kind of thing is like, all right, you can really do whatever the hell you want in the outskirts of the game. But the thing is, is that there are missions that they give you, and the missions that they give you also give you extra experience. This game is currently unfinished. It's alpha, and it's free. I'm going to knock on this door. Hello? How are you doing, good sir? Awesome. So he comes back in, and which means that if I was just to go grab my sword, knock again, turn invisible... Okay, apparently when you walk into them, that doesn't work. Hi. What you want? Ha 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 I slipped in behind him. He has no idea. Oh, he has an idea. Uh, slave helmet remover. Now the elevator's open, and I have full health. And we have a gun, so we're gonna use that. Get out of here, yush. Ooh, a Sam sandwich. A Sam handwich, actually. Excuse me for getting that incorrect. Complete all your mission objectives, blah 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 blah. Take the elevator. Gives you an understanding of what you killed, how you did it. Apparently, I killed five innocents. Five out of five. Huh. Now, you get traits. These level you up. Each one of these things give you certain benefits to make your missions easier. We're going to do clumsiness accepted because eh, I feel bad for breaking stuff and I hope people accept me for it. Now, this floor is all about rescuing that dude in the red jacket and apparently we get a lollipop. But first, there is a chest right here. And now this is an air filtration system where if you get certain poisons, you can put it into the filtration system and do some pretty badass stuff. This guy has an extra mission. Hence the M. Limited invisibility right now. And we're going to use that. Six, five, four. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. We were even able to get armor. Equipped the armor. I'm just going to follow these. Eh, hold on. Oh god! Mother of a poops! Ah! Oh god! Okay, okay, okay! Quick! Bananas! Bananas for healing! Bananas for healing. We have two more bullets to go. But it seems like they're good in leaving us alone, more or less. So if a person comes down, which they're not, I believe I will just be backstabbing. Alright, no, we're good. We're good. They don't care anymore. We got out. They don't even know what happened. Right, let's chat to this dude and see what kind of mission we can get from him. He's saying he wants us to neutralize some folks, and we get what appears to be a pill or a band-aid. Ooh, we have to kill sleeping guy. And other dude. And apparently, this guy is protecting them. Hi. What you want? I am um, assuming you're going to get angry at me if I try to kill him. So let's shh. Uh, shh. Ah, goon! I have no idea what happened. This dude just exploded. And I got a banana and a pistol. The greatest things anyone could ever need. Hi! Sword attack! You don't mind if I break your stuff, do you? Because I am a... Oh god, is that a gun he has? I don't know. But two can play that game. Alright, and we got a knife. Oh shit, we're locked out. Damn. So apparently this safely removes explosives from people's heads. Interesting. Well, we got a knife now. Unfortunately, I can't break through these walls. You can knock people through the walls, which is actually a pretty interesting way to get in. We've totally missed this guy in the bottom left, which, if I do so... Oh, I haven't discovered it? Well, teleport to the drug dealer, at least. Each level is small enough that it's not too bad to walk, but it is really nice when the game provides you that opportunity just to kind of flick around. Now, what are you? I can buy a slave. Slum dweller. Now, are there any slaves? You're a... You're a cop. <laughs> you're not a slave. <gasps> these must be the slaves over here with these dudes on the helmets, huh? And apparently I can free them. And the slave dude's pissed. Oh, he's pissed. Yes. Yeah, oh, God. Okay. All right. You know what's cool? You know what? Bananas. <laughs> Bananas are cool. God, this... this. Oh, shit. I got knocked through the wall already. Ooh, we're going to get that sword. Yeah, be free. Be free, slaves. You guys are freaking out about something. Ooh, that woman has a gun. Why do you have a gun, ma'am? Well, ma'am, I hope that gun does you well. Um, don't, don't, don't look over here. No way to open it. Shoot, that means I have to get a key probably off of these people. 
Alright, well, the one with the gun is going to be the most dangerous one, so... Backstab! Wow. This person is none the wiser. Well, now she's dying anyway. Ooh, slow motion. Looking good. Use the key. Take me to the entrance. Hold on, person. We must wait. Actually, there's nobody here who's going to get angry at us, so let's just take the money out of that and take you to the entrance. Come along, my friend. To the entrance we will go. To the entrance you will escape. Hypnotizer Mark II. Ah, use this on someone to make them align with you because whatever that reasoning was. I really liked how Matt put in a bunch of little, like, snippets of jokes in here. I mean, here's an example. Knife. Intended to help create delicious meals that bring people joy, but you won't be doing any of that, will you? I like this little personality, which I really appreciate. God damn, there's so much violence in there. Little personality, which I really appreciate in kind of a game like this where it's definitely like, all right, graphics totally looks exactly like Prison Architect. And then it allows you to go, oh god, what was that? I guess it was a trap. And then it allows you to kind of do this badass stuff. Oh, I'm on fire. Anyway, we're now we're doing operations. This person's going to be mad at me. I don't know why I'm operating all of these switches, but I am. Da -da 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 -da. Money complete. Continue on, invisible self. Now, you can actually rap on these windows and make people walk to them, which is great because you can then shoot through the window, which is a pretty badass way to take people out. Hello. Goodbye. All right, next step is the safe. Something from it and why, wow. requires a key. Not entirely sure what we're going to need, but we're going to go get it now. That was pretty damn easy. Uh, except that I have no way to open it. Well, that's simple enough. There you go. Backstab, and he's dead. I am, uh... Oh, we can even unlock the safe from out here. Ah, oh, perfect. Didn't even need to do that. That guy died for no reason. Got a skeleton key. And we leveled up. Haha. Uh -huh. Opens any door, but just doors. It won't open your heart. You know, sometimes in life, I just want a skeleton key that opens a heart. Something that really connects, you know? Something that really makes us extra happy. And we continue on. Total deaths, nine. Killed six out of 13. Ah, oh, is that potential people to kill, I wonder? Ooh, loneliness. We get a follower to start. Better results. Regenerates when below 20. Loneliness killer, please, because every ninja knows that they need a friend. It's like the opposite of how ninjas work, really. Periodic radiation blasts. Get indoors. Another assassin? Oh, that's awesome. Well, let's stay inside for this. Um... Well, I don't know who you are, so... Oh, don't go outside! Don't... Oh, you're both dead. Sorry. Ugh. <laughs> that is awesome. Really happy that I was able to see that occur. All right, here we go, here we go. We waited just long enough for the radiation to go away. We got a syringe. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. Into the house, quick. All right, we're safe in here now. Hmm, what do I even need to do in this level? So I just need to keep moving my way up. Interestingly, I gotta go in and out, in and out as I do this. We're gonna go up to the top left. Well, we're just gonna let the radiation hit and move on. Carrying on everyone, do not mind us. We are simply on a mission. Uh, this is somebody's house, but I think that's fine because radiation's gonna hit and we need to be safe. Sorry, sir, we will be leaving in just a moment. There's the moment, all right, have a good day. Oh shit, oh shit, four, three, Two, one, in! Oh no! <laughs> that was close. We were running out of time and I just didn't make it. My friend is now a pile of giblets. Gibletino friend. All right, here we go, here we go. Dun 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 We are safe inside, that is fine. All right, turning invisible. I don't know who you are, but you're gonna get stabbed. You don't see anybody, because I'm invisible. That's right, I'm gonna take whatever is in here. All right, so, oh no, oh no. Ooh, we got a lot of guns. Shotguns, shot, oh god, shot, heals. Okay, they're all dead. So B is actually quick heal, which is when I go, heals. That's a good way to do that. Okay, so this guy is dead. I don't know what killed him. Maybe the radiation technically went through here? I don't know. All right, our next thing is the slum. 
Dweller. And apparently this level is too dangerous to teleport, which is kind of a cool addition. All right, does that hit? Looks like I gotta walk around the outside of the room again. Well, that sucks. Especially because now I'm just gonna wait here. Just tentatively. I mean, I don't wanna die, so it makes a lot of sense. Go, go, dun 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 Thank you, police officers, for letting a masked man with a gun walk into your precinct. Also, I have to break her out, which means that I want to make... Ignore crimes. Interesting. Ignore crimes. Can I buy anything from any of you? No, it doesn't seem that's the case. I can be bribed easily. Real easily. Well, I'm glad to see that. Oh, I can use a skeleton key. I'm imagining people are going to be pretty upset about this, though. Uh, be my friend. Oh, God! Oh, shit! Run! Oh, I shot her! Oh, God! I Run! Oh, no. Banana peels! Uh, okay. Okay. More guns. More guns. More guns. Hope. Hope for the best. Oh, the oh, uh oh. Mission. Prisoner is dead. Floor of Get inside! I had a thing that allows me to teleport when my life drops to a certain level. It made that decision, and it saved my life. Unfortunately, it also killed the person I was trying to protect. Sorry, person I was trying to protect. There are some things where I'm going to just buy from the shop instead and ignore you. Let's play a slots. Dang a loss. I won. I have don't have money. <laughs> damn it. Oh, shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh, damn, that hurt a lot. And we're making it nice. All right, dudes, thank you so much for watching. Now, if you have an idea of uh, another character you want me to play on Rogue Legacy, excuse me, Rogue Legacy, on Streets of Rogue, please let me know. It's free to download, so go ahead, I'll put the link down below. Go ahead and click on it. Play the game yourself. If there's a character you want me to try playing as, let me know and I'd love to do it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. It was a joy to have you here. May the grand rise to meet you free. Wind always be at your back in the sunshine warmly on your sexy, sexy faces. Dudes, see you later.